Hello my beautiful hammerheads and welcome to another Black Library review. This time it's Skaven Slayer, a Godrek Gernson and Felix Jäger novel by William King. It's been a while since I've read the first one, Troll Slayer. Really did not feel like it because I was just into the story immediately like no time has passed. William King has a writing style which feels familiar, which feels like coming home. <laughs> I know this is a little bit exaggerated, however it just felt like this for me. Because this is a kind of a story in which you know the Empire, you know the Dwarves, you know Skaven, and you know the feeling of the setting, which for me is very important. This book basically just immediately picks up right after Troll Slayer. I don't know how much time has passed. It might be just a few months. Godrek and Felix are in Nuln, one of the major cities of the Empire. And they're doing, of course, their Godrek and Felix stuff. Godrek in search of his doom and Felix in his quest to write it down. But the Skaven are introduced. And this is one of the novels in which the Skaven appeared the first time. And the first time the arch enemy of Godrek appears, Thanquall the Grey Seer. And William King depicted the Skaven in the pure, most comedic and cruelest form ever. <laughs> because he, with this novel he basically created f uh, the arc style for Skaven writing, as he was, as far as I know, the first one. And so every Skaven is, ah, oh, I'm the best, I'm the smartest. Everyone is just trying to stab me in the back and every time something goes wrong it's no that wasn't because of my plan it's not because i've done some goofing up no someone has betrayed me someone has paid another skaven to do a thing or any other excuse and this is just so funny it's, i like skaven as antagonists because they're freakishly smart and immensely stupid at the same time. The overall story is pretty simple. As I've said, Godric and Felix are in Nuln, basically the mass equivalent of the 40k universe in Nuln. They are doing engineering stuff. So steam tanks, cannons and so on because there isn't really a lot of stuff in the Empire back then. <laughs> and the Skaven are of course somewhere in the sewers and Godric and Felix to get some money because they're on the run still like in the first book uh, they're working in the sewers to well against chaos incursions, Skaven even though many people believe that the Skaven are extinct, which obviously isn't the truth. <laughs> and this is again one of the examples in which William King has different chapters in which he introduces basically a new enemy who works with Thankall. And in the end, every one of these enemies are grouping together. So this isn't a major spoiler because Skaven are always backstabbing each other. Thankwell is the general of the Skaven army and every one of his lieutenants, be it Clan Molder, Clan Pestilence, Clan Scab and Clan Eshin, he controls every one of those. But then every one of those has their own plans which they try to, well, do in the meantime. Which of course tends to screw up everything and every one of those screw ups like with the enemies working for themselves and in the end 
everything comes together. All the screw-ups come together, all the enemies come together, and this is just so immensely funny. William King has the talent of inventing funny curses, especially for Godrek. While I say this, it occurs to me that Godrek isn't as big of a part in this story as Felix is. This kind of focuses more on him, as in Nuln, of course, there aren't as many dwarfs around. Godrek is doing Godrek things, and Felix is gathering information about the Skaven. He makes some friends. We get introduced to his brother, who wants to bring him back into the family, because he's basically being kind of exiled. <laughs> One of the interesting things, which might lead to more in the future. So, I don't know the Godric and Felix series. This is the first time in 20 years I've been reading this. In the first book, they accompanied a knight, Uldred, and while dying, he gave his sword to Felix and made him... And I can't remember if it was that he made Felix promise to bring the sword back to his order or if Felix just promised it on his own. But that really doesn't matter right now because this sword is getting picked up again by the story here in which Felix in the clan pestilence storyline in which the Skaven are spreading a plague through the city. He visits a doctor and the doctor recognizes the sword and says, do you know this guy? And it appears that the knight was part of not really witch hunters or skaven hunters or anything like that. It was more like he was part of several secretive orders. And maybe this is going to be picked up later in the series. I'm excited for this part. And of course, more of Thankwalb. Because one of the very funny stories is that Thankwalb, as he's trying to outmaneuver his rivals in the Skaven army, he hints their plans to Godric and Felix. <laughs> so he writes, he, first of all, he can write, he can write in the human language, and then he tells one of his underlings to deliver the message to our two protagonists. And the letters are also, again, just pure comedic gold for Warhammer old world fans. To be honest, there isn't much to say about this book, because even though many things happen, it kind of feels like nothing happened at all. Because every chapter is basically a little storyline in itself. And the last chapter is just, okay, I pick up everything and, as I've said, put it together and use this. So you could read a chapter, then come back to it a week two weeks, a month or later to it. And even though it's the same setting, it kind of builds on the last chapter. For me, it had the feeling that you don't need the chapter before. Of course, it makes by far more sense if you know everything. And this sounds more negative than it's supposed to be. I really enjoyed this book. I was glued to it and I finished it in basically one and a half days. In hindsight, my opinion on you can read this in a few weeks doesn't really matter right now. But for some people, this might be important. This is why I added this. So, but for whom is this story? For me personally, I say this is for fantasy fans who want something fun, who want to laugh, 
a setting which doesn't take itself really seriously. William King obviously had a lot of fun with this story. And it shows it is so much fun to read. It is so much fun to follow the story. So for all those Age of Sigma fans who had no idea what in the old world happened, this is one of the books I would recommend. You don't need to know where Nuln is, what Nuln is. William King really isn't going into the details of Nuln, the politics, or anything Empire or Dwarf related. It's just Godrek, Felix, some side characters and the Skaven in a city called Nuln, which has something to do with engineering. That's it. You really don't need to know more. And I love it. So all in all, this book for me, an 8 out of 10 Skaven covering themselves in fear musk. <laughs> and with this book, I totally understand why the Black Library made Godric and Felix such a big thing. But yeah, what do you think about Skaven Slayer? Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section down below. I am keen to know what you have to say. And while you're down there, do all the YouTube stuff because hitting buttons is fun. If you want to support the channel and you don't know what to say, just write Skaven in the comments. Have a great day, my friend. Stay fantastic. Stay hydrated. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.